Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Omar and today I will show you how you can load the stocks data type into your Excel. This is very useful for you if you want to build a portfolio of stocks on your Excel and it's available on Microsoft 365 subscriptions. So let's see how we can do that. So first in order to insert the stocks data, you go into the data tab and here under data type you have stocks and geography. So ours is stocks and if we hover over it, it says convert to stocks so it converts cells with company name or ticker symbols like msft which is microsoft to get current stock info like price exchange and more first of all we need to type the name of stock here or the ticker so let's say for example we write amazon then we go into stocks and press on it so it shows a question mark it means that there are more than one option or it didn't recognize the stock so we have the data selector here it opens automatically and here it says amazon.com nasdaq we have other ones like amazon forest or amazon market in neutral but we want amazon.com we select it and now we can see that there's this symbol next to it which is an institute or a house or something that symbolizes that this is stocks next to it amazon.com which is the name of the company xnas which means nasdaq the name of the stock exchange and the ticker amzn and for amazon now we can add different things first if we press on this symbol here it, it says show card or you can also show it as you can see by Control shift f5 so if we press on it we have the card of amazon so it shows the stock price and here it shows different things like the exchange official name ticker symbol change the currency previous close open high low 52 week high 52 week low market cap lots of data and we can add any of this data into our excel sheet so for example we want the price so we add price here if we press on this next to the price it will be added here we give it more space to be seen we can also add different things we can add them here from the card or also we can see this symbol here that shows insert data when we press on the cell so for example we want the 52 week high we want 52 week low uh, also for example we want the industry diversified retail so we can add different things and if we press on any of these we can see that it's a function so here it's a2 times 52 week low a2 times 2 week high so also we can insert the data in the form of formula if we press equals here a2 dot and here we have the options also to insert other things so let's say we want to put the market cap and press enter now we have the market cap of amazon but if you notice we cannot know what's this data unless we press on the cell so here we can't know that this is the price and this is the 52 week high this is the 52 week low because it doesn't show any headings automatically so we have to add headings manually here by for example saying price here 52 week high 52 week low industry And market cap and now let's say we want to add another stock so for example Apple and then we press on stocks again and it automatically chooses Apple because there is no other options and it recognizes that this is the Apple company stock 
We can do the same for Apple now by adding the different data. Or we can press on the data for price, for example, for Amazon and extract it to Apple. So here, for example, it's saying A2 times price. Here it's A3 price. And we can do the same for all the other data. As you can see now, we know the 52 week high, 52 week low, the industry, which is computer phones and household electronics. And we know the market cap, which is around $2.8 trillion. Also, there is an option to load bonds, some cryptocurrencies. So let's, for example, add Bitcoin. If we say BTC here, USD, which is Bitcoin relative to United States dollars. And it's converted into stocks. And we can see from here the, the card for Bitcoin. Also, we can extend the data for Bitcoin from the ones above. So, for example, price, 52 week high, 52 week low. Field and market cap are not found for Bitcoin. So, it's not as accurate as the stocks it's best better to use excel for stocks but for cryptocurrency is still relatively new so they don't have all the data here for bitcoin for example and as you know the stocks data can change for example the price can change every few minutes the 52 week high may reach a higher price or the market cap which also will change a lot so we have the data but how we can refresh it so if you press on Amazon and you right click, you can see that there is here data types. You can press on data types and press refresh. So it will refresh the data. Or you can also from here from the data tab, you can press refresh all and it will refresh the data. You can see that Bitcoin price here is changing every time I refresh. Or if you want to refresh automatically every time we enter into this Excel sheet, we can go into developer and if you don't have this tab you can simply right click on the ribbon here and press customize the ribbon then from here you can tick the developer if it's not ticked and you press ok and you will have it so from developer we can put code and VBA to refresh our data every time we enter into the sheet so we go to the visual basic from here we can press either on the sheet or on the whole workbook so press on workbook double click then put this code here i will also put the code in the description of the video below so that you can copy it and use it and then i can close so let me save now the sheet I will save it as stocks. And if I press save, it will not save because there is a VB project. So I need to save it as macro enabled file. So from here, I will choose macro enabled workbook and press save. And now I will show you how it will refresh when I enter the stocks sheet. So I would enter the sheet, enable content, and here as you can see, I will get a message, stock data has been refreshed. Because I requested this message to be seen every time it refreshes when I enter. So if you see in Visual Basic, here message box, stock data has been refreshed, which is the message that I got when I entered the Excel. I hope this video was useful for you and it can help you in building your stocks portfolio on Excel. I will also in the future make a detailed video on how to create stocks portfolio on Excel. Don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and to subscribe to my channel to always support my content and stay updated about my previous and upcoming videos.